Hey guys, Force Restore here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset your iPhone 8 Plus and erase everything on your iPhone. Now, this is something you want to do if you're trading in your phone, you're selling it or giving it to someone, but also you want to make sure that you back up your device so that if you have a new phone that you're getting or you want to move everything to another iPhone, you can later on. So, in order to factory reset it, first thing is backing it up, which there's two different really main ways to back it up. First one is through your iCloud account by clicking on over here. In your iCloud and you'll see here with your iCloud backup here you want to go ahead and back up now click that button it'll back it up for you the other way of course is using your iTunes or finder on a MacBook or to back it up there but it's important thing to do is back it up because once you do this it will delete everything locally on the phone but if you have a backup of it you can restore from it so once that's out of the way the next thing I usually like to do in the settings here is making sure I'm logged out of my iCloud account that's signed in here so if you're signed in your name is probably gonna be here you click on it and I'll go all the way down here which says sign out you want to sign out and to sign out you need to turn put in your pass word for your Apple ID. So I'm going to put my password here and I'm just hiding this because it's my personal one for these uh, demos. So I put that in and once you do that it will ask you, you to you click on that turn off option here and it should sign you out just like that. It'll ask you if you want to keep copies of that. It's up to you. I'll just click on sign out. Click on that sign out button one more time and it's going to copy uh, data to iCloud that you selected and it will be signed out. Generally during this process you still want to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or have cellular data on your phone because it will need to connect to the internet in order to verify that you enter the right password and log out. Once you have done that it's time to do the actual reset itself which you do is again you will be in the settings here now this is on iOS 16 which is the latest version we go to general here and then all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone you click on that and then the reset that we want to do is erase all content and settings we click on that and it will tell you how much uh, data it's going to erase and all the apps that it has you hit continue here and finally it gives you another warning are you sure that you want to do that because again you cannot undo this after you're done it so I hit erase here and then you see here the Apple logo reappears now key thing is you want to make sure that you, this process happens and the other thing to note is that it will take a couple of these and kind of screen flashes of the loading bar for the reset to happen and you will get to the screen where it says hello which is the main screen when you initially set up the phone it's important that you go through the whole process before doing it if your phone for example dies or you didn't go through the whole process it might not fully uh, delete all of your information or data on the phone here so important to do that and the other thing I recommend usually whenever you do any sort of factory reset or any kind of device make sure the f that iPhone or your device is charged up really well usually 50% or more if not you can always keep it plugged in so as you can see here it's going through the process generally a few minutes it takes but we've seen depending on how much data you have so if you have tons of photos videos locally on your phone like in a couple hundred gigs or something it could take you somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes because so much has to be erased so the code is running and trying to delete everything so keep that in mind the less stuff you have the shorter it will take you to reset it but you want to follow through and gonna watch all the steps as it's going through to do that factory reset so in, this is in real time just to show you I didn't have much data on the phone here but it does still take a little bit time just so you can see the whole process and I'm gonna wait till we get to the hello screen to show what a completed factory reset process looks like so as you can see here it's still going pretty strong here And the other thing I recommend, just a quick uh, FYI for if you are selling or giving away or trading in the iPhone here is you'll have your physical SIM card which you also want to take out from your iPhone here which is up here so you'll see here the physical SIM card you put a SIM ejector tool like this one for example pop it in there and then once you pop it in there if you have a physical SIM card you can remove it from here and as you can see here now we're at the hello screen just to show you again one more time here this hello screen when if you click on the home button it's just like that that means the factory reset has been successful and you're good to go and everything here is gone so the next person who sets it up 
won't have any of your information on it at all. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.